Summary of Many Lives, Many Masters by Brian L. Weiss. Let enjoy the video, please subscribing to my channel for more great content like this. You'll be notified when I upload new videos. Many Lives, Many Masters by Dr. Brian L. Weiss is a fascinating exploration of past life therapy and its profound impact on both the patient and the therapist. Here's a detailed summary and key topics of the book. Overall Summary The book recounts the true story of Dr. Brian Weiss, a prominent psychiatrist, and his patient, Catherine. Catherine was plagued by severe anxiety, phobias, and recurring nightmares. After 18 months of conventional therapy yielded no significant results, Dr. Weiss decided to try hypnotic regression therapy to uncover the root causes of her distress. During these sessions, Catherine began to recall vivid details of past lives, describing different eras, locations, and experiences with remarkable accuracy. These past life memories included people from her current life appearing in different roles, suggesting a deep interconnectedness across lifetimes. One of the most astonishing aspects of these sessions was the emergence of messages from the masters, highly evolved spiritual beings who communicated profound wisdom through Catherine. These messages offered insights into the nature of life, death, and the spiritual journey of the soul. They also provided specific information about Dr. Weiss's personal life, which Catherine could not have known otherwise, further validating the authenticity of the experiences. As Catherine continued to explore her past lives, she began to heal from her present-day anxieties and fears. The process involved releasing old traumas, forgiving those who had wronged her, and understanding the karmic lessons carried over from previous lifetimes. Dr. Weiss, initially a skeptic, found his own beliefs and practices profoundly transformed by these experiences. Key Topics Past Life Regression Therapy The book delves into the therapeutic technique of hypnotic regression, where patients are guided to recall past life experiences. This method is used to uncover and address unresolved traumas that manifest as psychological issues in the present life. Reincarnation and the Soul's Journey A central theme is the concept of reincarnation, suggesting that the soul undergoes multiple lifetimes to learn, grow, and evolve. The book explores how past life memories can influence present-day behavior and emotional states. Spiritual Beings and the Masters the Masters are described as enlightened spiritual entities who provide wisdom and guidance through Catherine. Their messages cover topics such as the nature of existence, the purpose of life, and the interconnectedness of all beings. Healing and Personal Growth Catherine's journey illustrates how understanding and resolving past life traumas can lead to profound healing and personal growth. The book emphasizes the importance of forgiveness, self-awareness, and spiritual awakening in the healing process. Skepticism to Belief Dr. Weiss's transformation from a skeptical psychiatrist to a believer in past life therapy and spiritual phenomena is a significant aspect of the narrative. His journey highlights the potential for scientific and spiritual integration in the field of psychotherapy. Interconnectedness and Karma The book discusses the concept of karma and how actions in past lives can influence present circumstances. It also explores the idea of soul connections that transcend time and space, suggesting that relationships and experiences are part of a larger, interconnected spiritual journey. Many Lives, Many Masters is a thought-provoking read that challenges conventional views on therapy, healing, and the nature of existence. It offers a unique perspective on how exploring past lives can lead to profound insights and transformative healing. Part 1 The Case of Catherine Dr. Brian Weiss, a well-respected psychiatrist, was accustomed to treating patients with conventional methods. However, his encounter with Catherine, a 27-year-old woman suffering from severe anxiety, phobias, and recurring nightmares, would challenge his understanding of therapy in the human psyche. Catherine's symptoms were debilitating. She had an intense fear of water, choking, and dying, which severely impacted her daily life. Despite 18 months of traditional therapy, her condition showed little improvement. Desperate to help her, Dr. Weiss decided to try hypnotherapy, hoping to uncover repressed memories from her early life that might explain her fears. During the first few sessions, Catherine recalled traumatic events from her childhood, but these memories did not seem to account for the severity of her symptoms. Then, in a breakthrough session, Catherine began to describe scenes from what appeared to be past lives. She spoke of being a young girl named Aranda, living in a primitive society thousands of years ago. 
she described her death in a flood, which seemed to explain her fear of water. As the sessions continued, Catherine recounted more past lives, each with vivid details and emotional intensity. She described being a soldier in ancient Greece, a servant in 18th century France, and a woman in medieval Europe who died during childbirth. Each past life seemed to hold clues to her present-day anxieties. One of the most remarkable aspects of Catherine's sessions was the emergence of messages from the masters, highly evolved spiritual beings who communicated through her while she was in a trance state. These messages offered profound insights into the nature of life, death, and the soul's journey. They spoke of the importance of love, forgiveness, and learning from one's experiences. For example, during one session, Catherine described a past life where she was a young boy who died in a war. The masters explained that this experience was meant to teach her about the futility of violence and the value of peace. They also provided specific information about Dr. Weiss's personal life, including details about his deceased son and his father's heart condition, which Catherine could not have known. This further convinced Dr. Weiss of the authenticity of her experiences. As Catherine continued to explore her past lives, she began to heal. Her phobias and anxieties diminished, and she gained a deeper understanding of her soul's journey. She learned to forgive those who had wronged her in past lives, which helped her release the emotional burdens she had been carrying. Dr. Weiss, initially a skeptic, found his own beliefs transformed by these experiences. He realized that past life therapy could be a powerful tool for healing and personal growth. Catherine's case opened his mind to the possibility that the soul's journey extends beyond a single lifetime and that understanding this journey can lead to profound healing. Catherine's story is a compelling example of how exploring past lives can uncover deep-seated traumas and lead to significant emotional and psychological healing. It also highlights the potential for integrating spiritual insights into therapeutic practices, offering a holistic approach to mental health. Part 2 The Messages from the Masters As Dr. Brian Weiss delved deeper into Catherine's past life regressions, he encountered something extraordinary and unexpected. During one of the hypnosis sessions, Catherine began to channel messages from what she referred to as the Masters. These Masters were described as highly evolved spiritual beings who possessed profound wisdom and insight. The first message came through when Catherine was in a deep trance. Her voice changed, becoming calm and authoritative, unlike her usual tone. She spoke of the importance of love and learning, emphasizing that these were the primary purposes of human existence. The Masters explained that souls reincarnate to learn lessons and evolve spiritually, and that love is the most powerful force in the universe. One of the most striking messages was about the nature of fear and its impact on human life. The Masters conveyed that fear is an illusion, a barrier that prevents souls from realizing their true potential. They stressed the importance of overcoming fear through understanding and compassion. This message resonated deeply with Dr. Weiss, as it provided a new perspective on Catherine's anxieties and phobias. In another session, the Masters spoke about the interconnectedness of all beings. They explained that every action has a ripple effect, influencing not only the individual but also the collective consciousness. This concept of interconnectedness helped Catherine understand the karmic ties she had with people in her current life, many of whom appeared in her past lives in different roles. It also encouraged her to practice forgiveness and compassion, knowing that these actions would contribute to her spiritual growth and the well-being of others. The Masters also provided specific information about Dr. Weiss's personal life, which Catherine could not have known. They mentioned details about his deceased son and his father's heart condition, which were accurate and deeply personal. This validation convinced Dr. Weiss of the authenticity of the messages and the existence of these spiritual beings. One particularly memorable message was about the nature of death. The Masters reassured that death is not an end but a transition to another state of being. They described it as a return to the spiritual home, where souls review their past lives, learn from their experiences, and prepare for future incarnations. This message brought immense comfort to both Catherine and Dr. Weiss, alleviating their fears about death and the unknown. As the sessions continued, the Master's messages became a guiding light for Catherine's healing journey. They helped her release old traumas, forgive those who had wronged her, and embrace a more compassionate and loving approach to life. Dr. Weiss, too, found his beliefs and practices transformed by these experiences. 
he began to integrate the spiritual insights from the masters into his therapeutic work, helping other patients heal and grow. The messages from the masters in many lives, many masters offer profound spiritual wisdom and guidance. They emphasize the importance of love, learning, interconnectedness, and overcoming fear, providing a holistic approach to healing and personal growth. Part 3 Karma Debts and Spiritual Evolution In many lives, many masters, Dr. Brian Weiss explores the concept of karma and its role in spiritual evolution through the experiences of his patient, Catherine. Karma, as described in the book, refers to the debts and lessons carried over from past lives that influence one's current life. These karmic debts must be resolved for the soul to evolve and progress on its spiritual journey. Catherine's case provides a vivid illustration of how karma operates. During her hypnotic regression sessions, she recalled numerous past lives where she experienced various forms of suffering and hardship. These experiences were not random, they were intricately connected to her present-day fears and anxieties. For instance, in one past life, Catherine described being a young woman named Elizabeth in 18th century England. Elizabeth was deeply in love with a man who betrayed her trust, leading to a life filled with bitterness and loneliness. This betrayal left a significant karmic imprint on her soul, manifesting in Catherine's current life as a deep-seated fear of abandonment and difficulty trusting others. The masters, the spiritual beings who communicated through Catherine, explained that these karmic debts needed to be resolved for her to achieve spiritual growth. They emphasized that the purpose of reincarnation is to learn and evolve by facing and overcoming challenges. Each lifetime offers opportunities to balance karmic debts through acts of love, forgiveness, and understanding. One of the most profound messages from the Masters was about the importance of forgiveness in resolving karma. They explain that holding onto anger and resentment perpetuates karmic cycles, while forgiveness allows the soul to release negative energy and move forward. Catherine's journey involved forgiving those who had wronged her in past lives, which helped her heal and reduce her present-day anxieties. A real example from the book highlights this process. Catherine recalled a past life where she was a man named Christian, living in medieval Europe. Christian was a soldier who committed acts of violence and cruelty during wartime. The masters revealed that the karmic debt from these actions was carried into Catherine's current life, contributing to her intense fear of violence and death. Through the regression sessions, Catherine was able to confront these past life memories and understand the karmic lessons they held. She learned that her current fears were rooted in unresolved guilt and trauma from her past actions. By acknowledging and releasing these emotions, she began to heal and transform. Dr. Weiss, initially skeptical of these concepts, found his beliefs profoundly changed by Catherine's experiences. He realized that understanding and addressing karmic debts could lead to significant emotional and psychological healing. This insight transformed his approach to therapy integrating spiritual principles with traditional psychiatric methods. The concept of karma and spiritual evolution in many lives, many masters offers a powerful framework for understanding the interconnectedness of past and present lives. It emphasizes the importance of learning, forgiveness, and personal growth in the journey of the soul. Part 4 Conclusion As Dr. Brian Weiss reached the conclusion of his journey with Catherine, he reflected on the profound transformations that had taken place. Catherine, who had initially come to him plagued by severe anxiety, phobias, and recurring nightmares, had undergone a remarkable healing process through past life regression therapy. Her sessions had revealed vivid memories of past lives, each contributing to her present-day fears and anxieties. The messages from the masters, the highly evolved spiritual beings who communicated through Catherine, had provided profound insights into the nature of life death, and the soul's journey. These messages emphasize the importance of love, forgiveness, and learning, offering a spiritual framework that complemented Dr. Weiss's traditional psychiatric training. In the final sessions, Catherine's progress was evident. Her fears had diminished, and she had gained a deeper understanding of her soul's journey. She had learned to forgive those who had wronged her in past lives, releasing the emotional burdens she had carried for so long. This forgiveness was a crucial step in resolving her karmic debts and achieving spiritual growth. Dr. Weiss, too, had undergone a transformation. Initially skeptical of past life therapy and spiritual phenomena, he found his beliefs profoundly changed by Catherine's experiences. The specific information provided by the masters about his personal life, 
including details about his deceased son and his father's heart condition, had convinced him of the authenticity of these experiences. He realized that past life therapy could be a powerful tool for healing and personal growth, integrating spiritual principles with traditional psychiatric methods. One of the most significant realizations for Dr. Weiss was the interconnectedness of all beings. The masters had explained that every action has a ripple effect, influencing not only the individual but also the collective consciousness. This understanding encouraged Dr. Weiss to approach his work with greater compassion and empathy, recognizing the broader impact of his actions. In the conclusion of the book, Dr. Weiss shared his hope that the insights gained from Catherine's case would inspire others to explore the potential of past life therapy. He emphasized the importance of love, forgiveness, and learning in the journey of the soul, encouraging readers to embrace these principles in their own lives. Catherine's story, and the messages from the Masters, offered a powerful reminder of the enduring nature of the human spirit and the potential for profound healing and transformation. Dr. Weiss's journey with Catherine marked the beginning of a new, more meaningful phase in his career, as he continued to explore the intersection of science and spirituality in his work. The conclusion of many lives, many masters encapsulates the transformative power of past life therapy and the profound spiritual insights gained through Catherine's journey. It highlights the importance of love, forgiveness, and learning in the soul's evolution, offering a hopeful and inspiring message for you.